Hey everybody, what's going on? We are here with a timeless reading. Welcome. First card out, two of pentacles. There's something that you're figuring out. I am hearing layaway. Maybe some of you guys are traveling somewhere. I guess it doesn't only have to be. Like when I think layaway, I'm thinking like airplanes and stuff, but also travel, timing, plans, that sort of thing. Maybe a particular message for someone. Mm, some of you, this has to do with finances as well. What's up? Okay. It looks like there's a conversation that needs to be had. I'm seeing that this needs to be prioritized. It's really important. It looks like you need to, you need to like make time to talk about this. It's something like that. I'm seeing you're the you're the king of swords here within this, okay? Or if you're not, just reverse it and you're the person on the other end. But I'm going to speak as if you're the king of swords coming out. I'm seeing that there is something that you need to like do, you need to say, but it's connected with the throat chakra, so it's like communication, presentation, it can be a speech, it can be like an email, because it doesn't only have to be what comes out of your mouth, it's like any anything that would be you expressing something in the form of like some type of communication or like presentation like that. And I'm seeing that, coming back to this, it can be like an important conversation that needs to be had, but I'm seeing you have to prioritize it and you probably have to initiate it as well. So it's like, you have this thing that you need to talk to somebody about. It's like, you need to be like, hey, can I talk to you at 6.30 today? It's really important, like that sort of thing. Because I'm seeing seven of swords on the bottom of the deck and this can mean that you're procrastinating or you're not doing something or you're not taking charge or you're not initiating this or you're not prioritizing it and it needs to be prioritized. I'm seeing your guides be like, this is really important. We need you to prioritize this. Do not let this slip away. For some reason, this really has to be addressed. There can be reasons why you may be wanting to avoid this though. Like maybe it's an unpleasant conversation or something, or maybe there's this part of you that's like, maybe I can get by without saying something. Don't do it. You're being urged against that, okay? Because I'm seeing this just be your shadow being like, didn't you need to like buy cookies at 6.30 today instead of having that conversation? You know, your shadow is like, you don't need to worry about that. That's gonna be hard work to do. Like, aren't you overworked and stressed out? Like, whatever it is that your shadow is telling you. Maybe it's not that important. Oh, but it is, is what I'm seeing here. And I'm getting there's there's a back and forth as well. It looks like this has to do with it has to do with feelings. This hasn't been discussed yet. These these feelings have not been brought to light yet. You are prioritizing the conversation. The person that you're talking with, I'm seeing them be like you guys are like zip 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 back and forth between you guys this is what i'm seeing and also having the moon and having page of cups here this can be like oh i didn't know that you were feeling that way oh i didn't know that that's what you were thinking it's like you're getting insight into what's going on with somebody and basically like what they're feeling and what they're experiencing and this may also be something that you're sharing too but it's going to be a, like an informational conversation but it's, I'm seeing there be an element of like feelings being involved. For some of you, there's a child involved in this or you're talking about something having to do with a kid, something like that. Or it can be like some something or someone that you're responsible for. 
that's just an example. For some of you, that is what this is about, but for some of you, that's not what this is about. It's about like feelings in general. But I'm seeing this as something that this discussion needs to be prioritized because it's something that is unknown. So that means that there's very important information that would be brought to light within this that is currently not, not known. And I'm seeing this person, the way that your energy is with theirs, if you bring this up, I'm seeing they will give you this information. And like it will be, it's very much like if you're willing to show up here, this person is very much willing to have this conversation with you. And that's not even to say that this is like a one-sided thing where you're like interrogating somebody, but it seems more like there's something very, very important that has to do with feelings or like that sort of thing, intentions even, sentiments that would be part of this. And it's stuff that having the moon here, it's like this has not been discussed yet. And it's really important that it does be discussed. Because it seems like it has to do too with like the direction of things, like where we're going. So it can be like this person doesn't know how you're feeling, you don't know how they're feeling, something like that. Not the extent at least. Because they could have been waiting to tell you until you initiated this conversation, something like that. I'm seeing Pisces here. Okay. This is somebody that you're working with actively, taking your time with it too. I'm seeing you be down to be in this little situation with this person. That can mean too that you've been connecting with someone and if you didn't if you didn't bring this up with them, you may not have known that something was going on. So it can be like you could think maybe something hmm. I want to be mindful of like the way that this is being framed. There can be something going on with you and another person and maybe it can feel like platonic or like we're not romantic anymore or something like that. And I'm seeing that because feelings are going to be brought up, it's going to bring something to light that like wasn't on the table before. And this is something significant, definitely. Because it's something that's like ready to be recognized is what I'm seeing. But it seems like the conversation has to be initiated and like you have to prioritize being the one to say, hey, can we talk about this? So I'm seeing your guides be like, you need to do this, it's on you. And this person is very, very willing to have that conversation with you, as I said before. It's like, it feels like they want to reveal this to you, but for some reason, like you have to be the one to engage with them about this specific thing. It's like maybe the time is right or something is appropriate or something like that. It also is connected with their feelings about working with you too, it seems. Or whatever it is that you guys have going on because there's like this like working interaction that's happening. There can be talk about the future as well. Like things, yeah. Where things are going maybe. Okay. You and this person are connecting with each other. So it's like you've been put in this conference room <laughs> with this person the guides are like okay you guys go in there and you work this out and let's see what you come up with so i'm seeing you guys like talking to one another it's like you're writing on the whiteboard with this person but i'm seeing you be in a spot where like you're having a hard time with something here what is this about do you feel scared some of you you feel like this person doesn't really care about you or you feel like they're not being understanding of you some of you you feel like they're being cold towards you but that's why this that's why this discussion about feelings is really important because you don't know something meaning 
there may be something going on where this person is like really feeling you and you're over here being like, they don't like me and they actually do. Like it's something like that where your perception of what's going on is impacted by something that's not been spoken about. And that's why you have to bring this up with this person. Cause I'm seeing something is getting to you. That's why you have to be the one to initiate it. And that's how you're gonna know this is you. You're the one that's feeling upset about something going on within the dynamic with this person. Like something's really bothering you is what I'm seeing. And it's to the point where it's distracting now for you. And that's why you need to bring it up. Cause this can be like something that you're worried about, something that you're stressing about. And it has to do specifically with whatever is going on with you and this person. But I'm also seeing you be maybe putting, had been putting this off, right? Because you're like, what if they don't understand? Or like, what if they, There's like maybe fear of judgment of what this person would think if you brought this up or if you like really showed this part of you because I'm getting something that feels vulnerable to you. But this is all, you know, right, that you over here being worried about something and being like, I feel vulnerable about this and I'm not sharing because what if they're judging me? That's really just your own internalized self-judgment that's being reflected back to you and you're just like using this person as like a symbol for what's actually going on inside of you so that's something to be mindful of because i don't get the vibe that this person is necessarily going to be like that but i think just because certain things haven't been brought up you're thinking that they're in a different place than they actually are because you don't know something and it has to do with the way that this person is feeling. And I'm telling you, like, there may be other things where you're like, well, I know what they feel about that. Or I know what they feel about that. Something about this specifically, you don't know. That's why the conversation has to be had. So this isn't something that you have an idea about yet. This is something that this person has, like, completely kept to themselves, completely kept hidden. Like, it has not been brought to light yet. But I'm getting they want to talk to you about it. But for some reason, like, I don't know why they don't or why why they're not it for some some reason and i don't know why you have to be the one to initiate this you may be struggling because this is just really difficult and i think you're also having a hard time with like the unknown factors as well This is going to be one of those times where if you do end up initiating the conversation and then talking to this person afterwards, you'll be like, I don't know why I waited to ask you about this. Or you'll be like surprised by how forthcoming they are and how, because I'm seeing this person really like you, you even, you speak like half the sentence about what you want to ask them about and they're already there giving you the answer. It's like that sort of thing. Like they're not trying to hold back. And so like, I don't know why why you don't know this but i'm seeing their intention is not to hold back their intention is to be very forthcoming with you but for some reason like they're under the impression it seems that you have to ask them maybe in order for this to be appropriate to be brought up but i'm seeing it is something that they want to talk to you about okay pisces aquarius seeing the high priestess on the bottom of the deck yeah this will be a healing conversation that you have with this person expressing genuinely how it is that you feel yes there are things about like hidden feelings that are going to come to light here I'm hearing something like this was different than it was before. It also has to do with intentions, like how one is feeling and then based off of that, like what you guys are sort of doing here together. As I said before, your guides pushed you and this person in the room together and they're like, okay, now work together. You can't leave the room until you figure out whatever this is. And so I'm seeing you be like, trying to figure out how to work with this person so you're figuring out like the dynamics of your collaboration with them working through whatever it is that you're addressing with them whatever the purpose is of this and then i'm seeing that you have to bring something up and talk to them but i'm seeing you be like either 
it's like you feel nervous about it it feels vulnerable to you it can be like about your fears that type of stuff that's coming up you could just be feeling anxious about communicating with them you could just be having a hard time with things in general you could also be like really struggling mentally as you're moving through this or just feeling like it's a really tough time for you but I, I do feel again like there's this part of you that may not be sharing that with this person because you may feel like they're not going to be sympathetic with you. But again, that's just like a reflection of your own self-judgment. Because it doesn't really seem like that's the case. Because it seems like this person would want to talk to you about how you're feeling. Maybe they've been waiting to talk to you about this. And it seems to like they would be supportive of you they just like want to have a genuine interaction with you see what's really going on so i think that this would be it would be vulnerable but there would also be like a lot of genuine intimacy here that you have with this person because i'm seeing like what's hidden and what's going to be revealed through the conversation is like a genuine conversation about feelings and like what you guys are doing together but it, it feels like breaking down that wall and like letting this person in and I'm seeing too, like you have your reservations, but as far as what I'm seeing here, it looks like this person has just been waiting for you to be like, I don't know, like break down in front of them or something. Not in a, not in a like not real way. This person has just been waiting to like see what's really going on with you in like a vulnerable way. So they're going to like jump on this opportunity to be like, like they want to have this type of experience with you like they want to talk about things but maybe they felt like they couldn't get through before and then you guys are the conversation is then going to lead about lead into a conversation about feelings like a deeper conversation about feelings so it starts off by somebody showing like how basically this is impacting them and being like, I'm not going to hide this from you. Like this is really how I'm feeling and what's going on and what I'm thinking and just like bearing your soul, it feels like to this person. And then I'm seeing there be this like them holding space for you as you guys sort of have a conversation about that and what's happening and i'm seeing this is something that would like instill hope within you so it's something that you basically be rewarded for being vulnerable within this situation and then i'm seeing it leads into a discussion about feeling stuff and like emotions and that sort of thing that has not been it's like um it's like you have a bunch of jars on the shelf and like when you open one, it's like then you like take it out and discuss it energetically or whatever. This is one that's been closed. Like you haven't sort of gone over this topic or like this thing with the person before. So this is all going to lead to basically like a, a hidden conversation or one that's like still has the lid on it. And it's going to be opening that up. And then it's going to make something much more clear about what's going on that hadn't been clear before. Because this could have also been something that you were worried about. You were like, what are we doing here together? What's happening? And maybe you felt like you weren't really getting anywhere with this person. And I'm seeing that because you guys are going to end up like divulging as far... Mm, is divulging the right word? You guys are going to end up communicating about feelings. And I'm seeing this again be a mutual thing. So over here, it it's more like letting the person know and letting the person see what's going on and then this is more like a sentimental sort of thing like a more another type of vulnerable thing that you do with this person because we have like the aquarian energy over here in this first part so this is more like that type of stuff like aquarian worries what would that be it would be like i'm anxious about this i'm worried about this you know like aquarius is connected with the nervous system so it's like i'm feeling really dysregulated right now i'm panicking i'm having a panic attack you know like that type of stuff like mental health and then on this side you have pisces over here 
And that's also mental health and that's emotional stuff as well because it's the water energy, but it can be stuff that like the other person doesn't know until we communicate that. And we also didn't know how they were feeling until they communicate. So this is just like opening the door to have a bunch of very important, significant conversations with this person. And then I'm seeing that it helps you guys figure out like what the mutual intention is. So it's very, very important what this is that's happening here. You have to be vulnerable with this person and just like let them know how it is that you're really feeling. So this is like really like letting them see what's going on with you, okay? It's not gonna feel comfortable, but that's what's being suggested in order to get things moving. It's gonna feel alleviating to you. Like you'll feel a sense of relief, okay? Don't be hiding your feelings from this person. You need to be vulnerable with them. Aquarius, Pisces, Mercury, communication. Thoughts and feelings. I think we're good here actually um i am seeing temperance though on the bottom of the deck there's stuff that's shifting around there's stuff that's changing i wouldn't be making any assumptions right now you just have to keep yourself open sort of to what's going on as much as it can feel difficult and scary to do that because it's leaving room for the healing that needs to happen and the recognition so temperance is your guides being like, just like stick it out, keep going, keep working through this, okay? Encouragement. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in, sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.